Hi there and welcome to another episode of Andy Robinson RC. Cheers for checking out today's episode and in this episode we have this, the uh, Co-Rally or Team Co-Rally Mammoth SP two-wheel drive monster truck which is their attempt at a one-tenth scale basher. Now Team Co-Rally have been going since 1984 and have a long history in competition cars and making uh, motors and other racing accessories so they've got a good pedigree and just recently they've been going into making uh, bashers that you can uh, sort of like to target uh, the likes of Traxxas and Armour and brands like that and so they do all the large scale ones as well but this is their one tenth attempt the Mammoth SP this is the brushed version we're going to try. You can also get a brushless one. Uh, from memory, this, this cost set me back at uh, £149 and the brushless one is about £200. So a bit dearer, but you're all set up for brushless. Uh, this has got a 15 turn 550 brush motor, 40 amp PSC. Uh, comes with all the radio gear, uh, which is 2.4 gigs. So it's all ready to run. You just need to add your own batteries. I'm using a 7.2 volt NIM pack, which is a 4,500 uh, milliamp one. So we're gonna use that, see what it's like. Um, I'll take the body off in a bit and I'll show you inside the truck and a couple of things I've done to it and go over a few things. But um, we'll get this going and we'll, we'll see what it's like. So I'll just switch it on. Yeah, actually before we do go any further that is your handset that you get with it this is called it's a very pro uno and uh, it's an str so 2.4 gig and uh, if you can see on there you've got your dual rate for your steering steering and throttle, throttle trim on off switch at the back and you reverse there for your channels uh, so pretty standard feels pretty good though it's uh, got a nice weight to it nice foam grip Anyway, uh, we'll see what it's like. Mm -hmm. It says, there we go. Around a little. Luckily, we're on the sort of gravel and dusty track, and uh, it sort of skids and turns quite easily. But the actual turning circle isn't overly great on this. So I think if you're on any other su uh, surface, it would uh, struggle. Now you can do something about that, but I'll go into that in a few minutes. So on here, it seems you know quite quick, but I think really you could do with the brushless setup. I think that'd be make it a bit better. But it, it seems to jump well enough and handle the bumps fine. Which is good, which is what you want from a basher. You don't want to be worried that you're gonna break something. See what I mean, the turning circle's not great. Definitely need some extra speed. But it is pretty fun. It always looks impressive when you're just uh, throwing it around with dust and rooster tails. I'm covering myself and my wife here in dust. <laughs> I'll just lay the plastic back up there and I'll 
I'll bring it round and we'll have a quick look with the body off and I'll tell you my, uh, my thoughts. quickly uh, whip the shell off on this and I can show you a couple of things I need to talk about. I'm going to say I'm uh, more into my uh, racing, building, tuning and collecting so a basher is a sort of a new concept for me but you know having something you can drive around with say we're not bothered about damaging it uh, makes quite a refreshing change. Right anyway that's the inside of the uh, the truck, that's the chassis and everything. Now it's very reminiscent of a Traxxas Stampede, which isn't a bad thing, but it's it's quite weighty. And uh, it's, well, you know, it's, it looks to be pretty solid and well built. Look at the thickness of the front wishbones. You can see there. So I don't think anything's gonna suddenly self-destruct on it. Now, I did read up a bit about this the, um, yeah, after ordering one. Now, one YouTuber had commented that in the shocks, his were all jammed up when he got his and he wouldn't move. On my, mine, on this, are all okay. Now, he said he had to re-drill the pistons inside the shock to get them to work. Um, so he had all the, you know, your travel. Now, this hasn't had that problem, which is good. So maybe it's a problem that Corally have fixed. So, um, what else? Now, that's your 40 amp ESC and your brushed 15 turn uh, 550 motor. I say, I definitely think you, it's better to have the brushless in this. Um, but, you know, if you haven't got that money, then this is an all right starting point. Um, okay, so, I'll tell you what I did do. There's no cover bung on the gear cover. You don't get one, it's just a hole. It's where you adjust the slipper, slipper clutch. Um, so I put some white tack over there to stop all this just getting inside. Now, I did tighten the slipper clutch up on this. I thought it was a bit loose, so I've done that. Also notice the wheels. Usually you have wheel nuts exposed that you, so you can take your wheel off. They've got this cool screw on little covers. You unscrew them and the wheel nut is underneath. So I like that. It stops all the dust and dirt getting in there as well. Okay, and also because of the large turning circle on this thing, I did play with the front shocks and I moved them in slightly so when it rolled, it would hopefully lean and turn more. Um, I mean, it's fine on this loose gravel, it'll turn almost on a dime. But uh, what you can do is, to fix the, uh, the turning issue, is this is the servo saver you get with it. And it's not overly great. It looks fine and beefy, but it isn't actually that great. Co-Rally do a HD servo saver. Now you can fit that one instead and that works a lot better over the kit one, reduces a lot of the slop in it and keeps the steering much more precise. So I'd probably recommend doing that. And what else did we do? Oh, the only thing I did as well is I put some little O-rings on top of the body mounts. Again, I stole this off a, a YouTuber that I watched their video on this truck and it just fixes that body nice and tight so it doesn't rattle around when you're driving it. Um, but yeah, there you go. That is the uh, Co-Rally Mammoth two-wheel drive monster truck i said would i get one would i recommend it i would but i'd spend that extra money and i'd get the brushless version uh, but other than that it's strong seems durable and it's been a uh, quite good fun driving around on this loose gravel track right we're gonna leave it there cheers for uh checking this video out much appreciated as always i'm gonna go and waste the battery on this now uh, but yeah, if you like this video and you want to see more content from the channel, then uh, please consider, <laughs> I love doing this now, please consider subscribing to the channel for more RC content and uh, click the like button and notification bell. Otherwise, we'll see you next time. See you later and goodbye. Cheers.